L who is playing Rob and looks like they are starting game one. So it's Longo. Or however oh, you Longo. pronounce that. Yeah, Longo. Okay. Sonic versus <laughs> Greg because I studying. And they go to uh, I say home field advantage for I studying. Home field advantage for I studying indeed. And not only because of the franchise, this is actually the comfort stage for uh, team GG well played. Yeah. When Greninja allowed, is, they will go here. Yeah, Greninja is pretty darn good at final destination. Yeah. It's probably his best stage. Probably. Today. Yeah, because he is so good at juggling people with yeah. his insane ground mobility. Yeah, and platforms can actually disrupt his combos. Yep. Uh, like, for example, up smashing for a platform. Um, well, good luck. You're not hitting them. If they stand on the platform, you up smash, you unfortunately will never get the second hit. Yep, that is uh, the tough life being a Greninja main, but I study makes it work. And they have taken a quick lead. Yeah. The synergy is off the charts. Yeah, they, do, they team every tournament they go to. Yeah. And they go to pretty much every Dutch tournament. Or at least every big one. Yeah. Okay, Greg's in a big of trouble. Okay, we Sonic got... Has we got limit. Yeah, we got limit on deck indeed. It, he can kill basically any of the characters present. Oh, uh, but not if he dies. If, yeah, if he is the one who takes a 4 there. But then just 4. That was unfortunate. Did, did he just up air chic? That was unfortunate. It was unfortunate. <laughs> That's very unfortunate. That's the best word I can use to describe it. I'm going to repeat it until I get it out of my head. Oh, that was a great back air. Yeah, that's another creative I studied in combo. That down air into the back air. He does the same with forward air. That is probably I studying strongest point. The convergence he can get from every single Greninja hit are just amazing. That's what. Well, that's what you gotta do if a character has such a lacking neutral game as Greninja does. Yeah. Although you he, gotta he's also pretty good at Greninja neutral. He is. Uh, big, oh my lord! Yeah. He flies into the final hit of down smash extended by Greg, who was caught in the whole move, mm -hmm. and that will be the first talk of Greninja. And all of a the sudden, they are no longer ahead. Greg's sitting not so comfortably at 118. Yeah. And Rob only at 14%, and Cloud at 63, and he has limits on deck. Mm -hmm. So I studying is uh, one grab away from getting finishing touched, potentially. The up air knocks out Sheik. Of course, one of the strongest up air in the game. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, and he has to use it on recovery, which is a shame. And there, no. oh, he survives it. This yeah. Good stuff for Sodrick. The knockback on Sheik's back air was so weak, he didn't even get a stage spike. If this was Melee Stadium, he would not have recovered. I can say that with certainty. Yeah, he would have gone pineapple. Because Pokemon Stadium's edges in Melee are stupid. Yeah, they're not fun. Because <laughs> you get caught under them. So, oh, good, good thing this is not Pokemon Stadium 1. Yeah. The neutral air actually taking out Greninja stock and both team members of team GG World Played are sitting at their final stock. I, I'm kind of curious as to how much he got him, went unpunished, but you know, oh. it happened. It happened. That back air, okay. are, they, are, they, are they like DIing really poorly or or is that really is that strong? It, it, it really is that strong. And now it's word. just Greninja versus the world. Okay, okay. But, you know, he's like creating he's some room for himself. You know, he's just not gonna, about to give up. Yeah, of I course mean, like he's he, All he's got to do is take take some stocks, you know, he's got to take three stocks. Okay, back air, it won't do it. Cloud will recover, but has to waste his limit. He's just running around, looking to get the opening. Okay, nice Wait, neutral what? air, and it takes it. The neutral air actually there, takes there, it. There's like no, uh, there hasn't been like any sparks sign like showing if anyone is dying. Yeah. So far, like the, the game didn't account for Ganinja's neutral air killing. And um, I think is still in it, but he is getting team combo to oblivion right now. Yeah. Okay. Good punish for the up air. But his main focus now needs to be to take out uh, Longo. Yeah, that's his best chance. Because then he can just try and one v one Sword Rex Cloud. Unless and see he how can that. get the Gimp on Cloud. That yeah, exactly. Like that's either of those two things are yeah. great. And of course, uh, he. Oh no! There we go. Jab into up smash. Great synergy by Team Longbow and Sword Rex, and they take game one on GG will play favorite yeah. stage. Yeah. After having basically Team GG will played starting off with a pretty strong lead. They brought it back and just reversed the entire situation. Yeah, just like that. Of course, That's there was a very a team. unfortunate team kill yeah. at the start with uh, I studying up Aaron Cheek, yeah. played by Greggs at uh, top of the stage. That's not something you want to do in teams. Mm.
Okay, let's see. And they go to Omega Politana. This is the final destination replacement we use in uh, the Netherlands. Yeah. So this is their, uh, you know, comfort stage just as much as Pokemon Omega, but even more because this is what they're yeah. used to in terms of Omega stages. Yeah. And they're coming the out of the gate swinging. Too. I like his music. Yeah, uh, this stage is some pretty sweet music. Nice four tilts into up smash, and he gets the both of them. Nice usage of the throw and visibility. I love it when teams like manage to do their team combos because of throw and visibility. Yeah. It's just, it just looks so good because it means they know the timing of your, their teammates' throw that well. You know? It's just nice. It's nice to see. It's always fun to see great team synergy. Yeah. That's As we see, Rodan. Sweet there. spot up smash is so strong. Gregs is up smash. And it's another one! Another one! Greg's up smashes are so on point this game. And they yeah. are ahead solidly, both only at 88. Dear lord, I... I just... That was like... Wasn't it like free up smashes? Free straight up smashes? Yeah. Free straight and up two smashes. Two of them sweet spot. The up air and cheek stock though. And there's the up smash to end I studying. So good on Longo and Sodrek for keeping calm and... Basically not allowing Team g play to get any sort of lead while they were stocks ahead. Stage control. Neutral air into back air. Okay, I guess he's trying to do so, but yeah. he gets back because he had well, the limit. Exactly. Limit up he goes really far. Speaking of Hydro Pump, by the way, uh, you can actually Gimp Cloud by Hydro Pumping him while he's at the ledge because he cannot snatch. Yeah. Just like Mario would. Yeah, with the flood. Yeah. Of course, it's a little harder with Greninja, but it's definitely possible. What is Sodrik doing? He was discharging Limon. Maybe he hoped to get it full so he could use the up B, but he reached the blast zone just as his limit was fully charged, and now he is at his final stock. It is looking a lot less solid for the green team than it did last game at this stage. Yeah. See if green team can't make some of the. Dashes. Oh my God! Oh, these team combos. There, if I would have missed the back air stair. If Rob was not there, that could have probably led to a kill with the up bears. Speaking of Rob not being there, he just got caught by a bouncing fish. No, uh, no, uh, no. Uh, Sodrak and Longo did. Uh, this is me. Uh, the voice that knows all we did not yeah. know the score. And now look at this. They lost game one. And yeah. now they have four stocks, and it's a 2v1. Yeah, I guess the necessary actions were made. And he interrupted at just the right moment. It's good stuff from Ice Study. Yeah, great rescue. Okay, Bouncing Fish, up air. Haha, <laughs> I used the gyro against him. There's the up air, though. It's so strong. Yeah. <gasps> oh man, I was. If he would have done like a down air, mm -hmm. spiked but, him from that. But Greg still has a stock. So now he has a fresh stock. Can do all sorts of unsafe stuff. <laughs> yeah. Can throw out some of them's moves. Grenade? Nah. No, that's the wrong one. Uh, that's that's uh, you're supposed to grab the killer robot, not not your ninja friend. Oh <laughs> <laughs> The up toss of the gyro almost even taking the stock. See? Oh man. Oh it's the dunk! Yo, Logo sending out a message that he is not out of this game. But now he is. There he is. <laughs> that ass smash is pretty darn strong. Uh, yo, a valiant effort by yeah. Logo. Getting Definitely. the spike and the up air. But yeah. Taking two stocks before he goes down in 2v1. Now I'm curious, where will Sodrick and Longo take them? Because I don't know. I don't think they want to go back to no, Omega. You, no, you, you, you don't. You really don't. So I let's see. It's Rob and Cloud versus Sheik. Battlefield. Ninja. Battlefield. Battlefield Dreamland. Yeah, Battlefield. Just Battlefield. Cloud yeah. is insane on Battlefield. You know why? He can run off uh, a lower platform, and when he up airs during his runoff, he gets uh, a sweet spot up air hitbox that actually covers the top platform. What? Yeah. You can run off side platform. Up air, and it would sweet spot top platform. That's stupid. It is stupid, but you know, welcome to Cloud. Welcome to Cloud. 
Thank you, Sakurai, <laughs> for making this game and adding this incredibly, incredibly weird character. character. <laughs> he's weird and fun, I guess. I just uh, he's wild. fun to watch, he's n uh, not so fun to play against for some matchups. Yeah. So, yeah, that's looking. Oh! No, Dreamland it is. I, uh, I, I'd say, oh, it's Omega Suzuki Castle? <laughs> you know, screw Omegas. Normal yeah. Suzuki Castle. Walk offs? <laughs> walk offs hype? Are we hyped for walk offs? Not really. <laughs> Why not, man? Uh, no. Can, is that even legal here? Uh, well, with gentlemen, any stage is legal. Yeah, that's true. So technically, they could go to Umbra. Yeah, but I doubt anyone would gentleman them in a game three to f to Umbra clock yeah, tower. Yeah, to I, Umbra all stages. Yeah, doesn't sound as the most sound, yeah, like no, sounds that, a that's bit. something you want to do in game three no. of a bracket match on stream. But then again, we, we've already seen some crazy yeah. stuff happen in pools. So and there they go, Battlefield Jeff indeed. Mill. Yeah. So yeah, I called it. You did. Called it. I almost. I had it almost. Okay, let's Just see what Soldex's gonna do. Oh, the up airs immediately coming through for Cloud. Ooh, but they're covering and taking out the bouncing Yeah, Bobsnare Bob is insane. But the old down throw up air. Looks like the green team is in a bit, a bit of trouble now, in a juggle situation, and of course you'd rather be with the both of you in the center than one at each side. Yeah. In terms of double placings. Oh, he gets caught by the finishing but, uh, touch. Well, but yeah. that was the wrong target in my opinion. Should have gone for Sheik. Yeah, Should have watched the percents, mate. It's, it can be pretty difficult in doubles to, uh, yeah. you know, look at the right percent meter yeah, and still get the, you know, the right frame. Yeah, I know. For the punish. So, uh, thankfully for Ice Studying, he was not in kill percent even for the finishing touch. And both the teams are sitting at six stocks. Team GG well played in slightly though. Ooh, nice. This grab straight through oh and another God. one. The synergy is amazing. Down throw to Tipper Diamond Cutter. Yep. But his teammate Greg pays the ultimate price. Yeah. As he gets punished by a forward smash from Cloud. No, it wasn't a form set, it was a limit broken side B. Wow. What happened to Cloud right there? I think he got stage spiked? I guess. I'm not entirely sure. No, stage spiked and did what I like to call buffered air dodge. Yeah. It's not it's called it's basically you know, when you try to take it, but yeah. um you're off by a few frames. And so then you use buffer air dodge. Yeah. It's you, horrible. Yeah, that's not something you want, but it is something that happened to Soderick and it's not looking good for the green team. The blue team sitting at five stocks, the green team only at three. Yeah, okay. with the amount of, yeah. Greninja off stage. Oh, the down air, that's wow. gonna do it. It's, so, it's pretty damn strong. It's pretty damn strong uh, when you sweet spot it. That's my thing, like with Cloud, because like, his normals are really strong. Overall, it's just actually hitting them is the hard part. Yeah. But when he when he gets them, like those he gets up airs, <laughs> he gets crazy. Things though, this could like turn around in one fell swoop if Cloud well, gets like a f really deciding finishing touch. Yeah, on Green Ninja right now. Yeah, or, if they, or if both. They can man yeah, or both. But if they can manage to uh, finishing uh, touch the Green Ninja, then they might have a little bit of a chance. Yeah, the Sheik. Bit back air from so Sheik, like not enough, even in 150. Cloud in a jungle situation, still holding on to his limits. Oh my lord, a spike on Sheik! That is really good for the green team. Yeah. Now at least they're even in stocks. But the bouncing not face. Not anymore. And now both of the green team are sitting at the final stock. They need to get a finishing touch on Greninja now. Yeah. It should kill as well. Ninja yeah, that's definitely going to kill. Just go up there and do it. He was sharding an up smash. He just yeah. gone there, perfect shield and instant down beat. And it would have looked amazing. That didn't happen though, instead he gets another on the one. Got a tipper diamond smash. Gregs, in teams he is so solid with landing that uh, the tipper up smash from Sheik. Yep. Ha, <laughs> nice, the grenade saving Greninja from a grab. It would have been a bit awkward though if that up pair would have hit. Yeah. It yep. would have been a bit awkward. But of course, I'm just standing there throwing the grenades. I sitting does have a stock to spare, and that's why Greninja is taking the lead. Yeah. And uh, indeed, Greg's is sitting there throwing his grenades and needles. 
Ooh. Oh, nice stack. Stacks. And and there, there we go. go! Another one. And then a great down throw into Tippet Diamond's Gunner. Yep. Team Gene will play obviously very happy with the victory after losing game one. But you know, after that they got their team combos so incredibly on points.